Yeah, but did you see how much he had to drink last night? I can't believe that guy made it home. Nobody drives drunk anymore. Hold on, I got another call coming in. While drunk driving rates have dropped greatly, negligent driving and speeding fatalities have skyrocketed. Someone dies every 13 minutes from negligent driving, so keep your hands on the wheel, your eyes on the road, and your phone put away. Oh, hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey. Where have you been? I lost my cat. Oh, that's not right. Yeah, so I made this cat magnet to try and get him back. Cool. Does it work? Kind of. Nice. Yeah, but that's not my cat. I gotta keep working on it. See ya. See ya. Anything's possible. Keep thinking. Get started on your own inventions or just play some games at inventnow.org. You're watching Hawthorne Community Television, Channel 22. Quality programming for the city of Hawthorne. Well, this Hawthorne resident recently took on a very tough challenge. Reporter Sophia Pop tells us what she did and why. Okay. Hey. For Valerie Sarmiento, this may be a typical bike ride around the block, but recently she got ready for a ride that changed her life. Well, I just thought it would be a good challenge when I first signed up. It all started last October when a friend told her about the AIDS life cycle, a 545-mile bike ride from San Francisco to Los Angeles to help raise money for AIDS research and medication for people with a deadly disease. It just really helps them, you know, live another day because there's a lot of people who can't afford medicine and stuff, and it's really expensive. Training on the weekends for seven months for approximately 20 to 30 miles a day was her first step at getting ready for the task. She also attended orientation meetings and soon got acquainted with the group of cyclists she would ride with. She also met a very special person. At only three years old, little Caleb is HIV positive. He was born to a mother with a drug problem and was taken from her by the Alabama state authorities. When Valerie first met Caleb earlier this year, his charming personality won her heart. He's the sweetest little kid ever. He likes to play the guitar. During the entire seven-day journey, Valerie's mind was set to finish the ride. And for this, she carried this picture of little Caleb as her motivation. Once in San Francisco, her 12-hour days started with an early breakfast, and she was on the road by 6.30 in the morning. With a group of about 90 people, she rode through steep roads and passed families who cheered them on from the sidelines. No one's on their phones, no one's, there's no news, they're just concerned about finishing the whole seven days. She finished the ride and was able to raise $5,108. Despite the physical challenge, she's determined to do it again. And it's just really fun, so I'm ready for next year. <laughs> Sarmiento looks back on how she's helped people she doesn't even know, and especially how she's made a difference in the life of a little boy who she now calls her friend. Reporting for HCTV, I'm Sophia Pop. Valerie's ride was sponsored by her friends, co-workers, and the city of Hawthorne. Well, here are some folks who also recently did some bike riding, although in a much different way. Lindsay Case reports. The annual Manhattan Beach Grand Prix, sponsored by Chevron and Rock Racing, took place at Live Oak Park. Working with the Lions Club and the Wheelman, we look, really look at this as a community event. It's an event that local residents look forward to each year. It's the 47th year that they've had it, um, so it's, a, it's kind of a big time bike race, brings out a lot of people. Ted Ernst has been organizing the race since 1962 and has seen its popularity grow. It is a star-studded field with guys from all over the United States and then people have raced in Europe and in world championships on the Olympics. Randall Broussard, a local resident, was thrilled to compete. This is about my seventh year. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a monument in um, American cycling. Like you say, it's one of the oldest races in America. Everyone wants to win Manhattan Beach. But adults weren't the only ones competing. Victoria Cushy and her daughter Kayla looked forward to the kids' races. We told her she doesn't have to win, but she has to finish. And it's her first race ever. 
And while the kids had fun, the professional riders were here for serious competition. I crashed in the last corner, but I, I did my part of the job, which was basically taking my, my, our winner to the last corner. Crashes are unfortunate, and rock racing founder Michael Ball is developing a fund to protect riders. It's a catastrophic injury fund that we're putting together for the racers because they don't have any recourse. And because racing professionally is so dangerous, riders say it's important to trust your teammates. I felt good. Uh, the legs felt good. And what made it easier is that the team came through today. Today's event had eight races with the pros taking the course last. And in the end, Rock Racing won it all. For HCTV, I'm Lindsay Case. To learn more about the Manhattan Beach Grand Prix, log on to www.mbgp.com. If you want to learn how to play basketball, here's a program that can show you how. Sophia Pop has more. Now that summer's in full swing, many new and returning students are spending their time here, sharpening up those basketball skills, dreaming to become the next Kobe Bryant. Basketball season may be over, but these kids are just getting started. I have learned how to shoot and make shots and layups. It's all happening at the Betty Ainsworth Sports Center, where boys and girls are learning the rules and discipline needed to play the game. They learn the fundamentals of basketball. We teach them how about conditioning, conditioning their bodies, what to put into their bodies, how to condition themselves to get ready to play basketball. Carlos has participated in the clinic for the past five years, and every time he looks forward to new techniques and improvement. It'll make me actually score some points for the first time. The classes are offered for three weeks at beginning and intermediate levels. Students are provided with a sport t-shirt and they must wear court shoes. The cost is $30 per week. It's something for the kids to do to learn basketball. They want to develop their skills. The parents can drop them off or they can stay here and interact with the coaches and kids as well. The um, coach is, is very good. He is uh, trying to uh, make the kids listen. If I can touch just one child and, and, and have them to see an avenue that maybe they couldn't see before, then that, that's, that's the reward for me. Besides staying physically active, students walk away with new friendships that will possibly last for a lifetime. Reporting for HCTV, I'm Sophia Pop. Basketball sessions are offered for different age groups. Registration is available for other clinics that include volleyball and soccer. For more information, you can call 310-349-1640. Well, here's a great way to spend your summer days. Reporter Camille Brown was recently at Ramona Park to tell us about a fun-filled outdoor program. The City of Hawthorne's park program provides the perfect incentive to get off of the couch, get out of the house, and enjoy real outdoor fun. It's really safe. We take care of them. Everything's free. They don't have to provide anything. Just if they want to have lunch, we don't provide lunches, but we are here 9 to 4, bring your kids. We have a lot of fun for them. The program was designed with the community in mind and includes arts, activities, board games, and sports. But the wading pool is definitely a popular spot. During the summer, I like to um, come into the pool. And it's really fun because we get to play games and everything. It's really cool. Very nice, very clean. The cleanliness of the pool is a top priority for park staff. Because we have to clean the water every hour, hour and a half, and it's really hard to um, get the kids out of there. I've been playing here a lot, uh, I think since I was one years old. The activities are ongoing, so you can come out to the park at any point during the day to enjoy the fun. You can come with your family, have picnic, have big day with your kids, you know, play in the pool. You know, it's, it's, it's fun. I love it. Wading pools and activities are at all six city parks, which include Holly, Eucalyptus, Holly Glen, Jim Thorpe, Memorial, and Ramona Parks. Hours are from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m., Tuesday through Saturday. For HCTV, I'm Camille Brown. The park program runs through August 23rd. Oh, keep it right here on Channel 22 for these future city news stories. We tell you how to protect yourself from West Nile virus. Also, we take you to a local summer camp. And the Hawthorne Pool is up and running again. That does it for this edition of City News. Thanks for watching. If you have any story ideas, please call us at 310-349-1630. We'll leave you now with highlights from the newly remodeled Hawthorne Municipal Pool, which is now open for you to enjoy. See you next time.